Assalamu alaikum guys my name is Amir Hamza so in last tutorials we should learn how we can upload our image to firebase so i promised you guys i will show you in next tutorial how we can download our image and uh, set into image view and maybe we can do a little more stuff cool stuff like uh, show image into cycle view maybe we will do this later so uh, i make this tutorial simple as possible so if you not watch my previous video make sure you watch my previous video i put the link in description you can copy from link here but in this tutorial i'm going only going to show you how we can get uh, our url from firebase and set into image view i'm using the picasso library if you're not so familiar with the picasso library i just show you but uh, you, you you will be understand in next 10 minutes but you must have study from over the internet there will be a lot of tutorials on picasso library so let's start it while the line last road will leave it on this stage so i just make uh, only log tag so there is a two call back listener if you notice there's on failure on success on failure is triggered when our file is successfully uploaded onto firebase console if you, if our file is successfully uploaded user have a right connection user does not have any problem in the connection right you can say the file is successfully load to firebase and it will on success call be callback will be triggered and it will be return us uh, url i think yeah it return us url and we can save this url to our string or hash map you can say in our java object and then we later on we can use it so i follow the same step i make this variable uh, this is basically url type variable if you can see here i scroll down i make a private uri and download url variable and i get the url and let me show you my context main what i have in my context main in last part we just upload our image this image i just change the image uh, last part if you remember that uh, let me open my last image okay i think i just yeah we upload this image so i just change the image uh, this is not big big deal so i change the image and i add a new button when user click on this button the file uh, the image url will be get from we get the image url from uh, firebase and show to Im our image view this is image view here downside it is match wrap content so it's not uh, going to you you are not going to show this so let's start it i if you are not familiar with the picasso first of all go to google and f search for a picasso in right spell that picasso in right okay it's pretty forward open first link uh, will be f i'm sure it will be github.io or you will be navigate to official website i'm uh, not sure you will be navigate to this web page so scroll down until you find the library dependency copy this dependency and open your build.gradle module paste here dependency and sync your project all is done i already done this so i'm not going to do it again the next step is you need to use this you need to copy these one lines of code because dot with context dot load uh, dot into image view so i'm going to copy this and i'm going to open my main activity if you i tell you already if i click on this button the this image view will be show us image so i make a clicks listener here i make a button download button image and i find the image by find view by id there's nothing right and then i set a click listener so in click listener let me delete some of this code and uh, do it for you again the next step will be find our image view 
image view is called image view image view is equal to find view by id r dot id dot my download image okay my downloaded image uh, in, in your case you will you have your image view so i just name it to download image view for sake of understanding so next step we need to copy picasso a little bit only one lines of code maybe copy here next we need to refactor our it's ask for a context so in our case is main activity dot this because we are in on set click listener so we explicitly tell us main activity dot this so next step is ask for a url which image you want to load us if you remember that we just grab a url from firebase by calling on success uh, basically on success is already called so by default call so we need to just copy this url and paste here yeah all is done uh, but uh, this is if you remember that download image is a url type so maybe we should convert uh, this is, you can see here uh, we should convert into string by calling to string method okay let's compile this one and test this one so this is only pretty two or three lines of code so maybe i will sh next tutorial or maybe in this tutorial i'm going to show you how we can actually use our image with the, our data so in last tutorials we learned how we can upload only students ids and uh, names and uh, something like that so in this tutorial we may will we make uh, some new instant in our student class it's called maybe private string image url something like that so maybe we will see later okay it's going to crash i know why this is crash but don't worry guys it will work fine i going to compile it again it's crash basically i just enable the instant run so i cannot release the sum of listeners and firebase uh, sum of listeners so that's why it's going to crash so apk is going to install let's see what we got in our let open my console firebase console as well as so you can see here if i do this side by side uh, yeah there we go okay i'm going to click on upload button this image we upload in on here okay let's refresh this one i think my connection is a little bit slow right now maybe my system let me check my ram yeah i have <laughs> i'm running out of ram as you can see we got our image if you see here we previously we have only three images in our database so now uh, yeah we have four images so let's test if this image we got in our here i'm going to click on show image from firebase if you can read here i make a mistake here okay just do it show image in firebase it should be image as you can see here we got our image on phone picasso library using picasso so this is simple so let's move on something cool